Hello everyone, this is Steve at WP on a Budget. And in the last video, we downloaded a program called Local, which allows you to run WordPress right on your computer. And they have a feature in here called Blueprint, and that's what we're going to go over today. And it basically allows you to set up a base WordPress with the plugins and templates and stuff you use in every website you set up and that way you can just load it up ready to go and concentrate more on designing than spending all your time loading everything up so here's where we left off in the last video so I'm gonna go into the admin and just like you would you know a regular site I go through and make sure everything's empty which it should be if you've just installed it. So we'll go to appearance. And I've been asked about, you know, what I use and everything else. So uh, I'll go over my basic plugins and themes that I use. Now I delete everything as far as themes is concerned except for 2017. And the reason I leave that in there, just in case something happens, I have a backup theme in there so the site doesn't just go blank. Now, Generate Press is my go-to theme. I use it for everything. Uh, I even own Generate Press Pro, which is fantastic. And uh, I'll do a video on that a little bit later on. So we're going to let this install. Alright, and then I'll activate the theme. And then we'll go to Plugins and Add New. I'm going to go over here and just copy to save me some typing time. The first one that I use is Yoast. I really like Yoast SEO. and it, As you can tell, it's pretty popular. So we're going to install it. Alright, now for backing up my site. I use Updraft. So we'll install that. Okay, and while we're here, we're going to go ahead and install WP Optimize. Keep your database all cleaned up. And next, Autoptimize, which I like a lot. We'll install it. Alright, now each site needs a little security. I use iTheme. Get that installed. Alright, and about to install, we need a little login page help. So I use Google Authenticator. I use this one right here. Though I did see that. Updraft has one that I might have to try out and see how that works. And last but not least, my favorite page builder, Elementor. Now these are just the, the ones that I use. Obviously everybody has their own favorite programs, plugins and themes and that kind of thing. So just load up what you use, what your favorite ones and the ones that you use over and over again. Doesn't matter if it's seven, we're going to stop here with these seven for me just load up what you need alright now that's installed and now I'm gonna go to pages add new and like I said this is how I just how I set up mine you wanna have a home page publish I don't worry about any of the settings just right now this is just like I said just a basic get started quick blueprint and I'll have a blog page an about page
contact page. And these pages I know pretty much I'm going to use every time. Now go down to settings. We'll go ahead and set my front page to the home page, and my post page to the blog page, and save those. I'm going to go to permalinks and now you can go and set up your menu you know whatever else you want to do this is all I'm going to do now for this so everything is changed I'm going to say this process took you know somewhere between 10 and 15 minutes to do and if you're doing multiple sites that's uh you know can add up to a lot of time so now we're going to go back to local. We're going to right click on our site and we're going to save as blueprint. Let's give it a name. And then hit save blueprint. And it'll go off now and it's going to start saving this site as a blueprint. Okay, and it's all saved. I'd say it probably took about maybe a minute to save it all. And now to show you how it works, you want to we're going to add a site. We'll call this WP example. You'll hit advanced options. You want to use the blueprint that you just named and hit create site from blueprint. Okay. Here it is. Like I said, though, originally it probably took maybe 15 minutes on the outside to download all those plugins and that theme and get everything set up and ready to go. Uh, doing it as a blueprint unofficially, it took two minutes. And it is done. So click on the admin. I've already done it and logged in. And again, your login is probably, if you set it up as a preference, going to be the same thing for every site. And you go look at pages. And there are the pages that we set up. With your blog set up as your post page, your home as your front page. Click on appearances. There's the generate press theme. And then plugins. There are the seven plugins. And then, of course, your permalink structure. You already saw that the home and the blog page was set up. Set up with the sample post as your post name. So there you have it. I mean, in less than two minutes, you have your... It downloaded WordPress. It set everything up. It set up your database. It installed all seven plugins. It installed my theme. Um, it set up my pages. Now, basically, all I have to do is design and then add whatever particulars that you want to add for this site. Uh, it is a great time saving feature and it comes free. It comes with local. So that's it for now. I appreciate you watching. Please click the subscribe button below. I would appreciate it. And until next time, see you.